Hey folks, Cliff here. I recently posted I purchased two of the LeMonster bypass pipes and some folks wanted to know how it sounded and uh, uh, talk about it a little bit more. So as for video, so here we go. I'm the first time doing this, so uh, bear with me. So we'll start out with a uh, catalytic converter. Here's what it looks like. You got a, on the FU3, you have a mounting bracket for this one here. And then these are little probes that stick into the mounting. You're also gonna have a clamp, or uh, these three little hooks right here where some springs come across and hold that down there. And on this gizmo right here, there's gonna be a clamp that I'm gonna talk about on the bike. So I just wanted to show you the catalytic converter, what it looks like um, and what you're gonna have to do. So let's move over to the bike. So real quick, um, let me grab this tool. I'm going to talk to you about. All right, so over here on the F3T is what you're going to have to do. And if you get it, if you can get your bike up on a couple of car ramps on the front wheels, that'd be great. Um, helps it out a little bit more, but if not, you can still do it just with the bike sitting on the ground. So what you have to do to get this catalytic converter off is there's these three springs right here. There's one, one on the top, and one on, kind of on the underside. And what you need to do, it'd be nice to have, is a tool that looks like this. It's like a, it's like a tool, uh, it's a spring preload tool, whatever. Probably find them at your local uh, car parts store. It's got a little hook on it. And what you, how you use that is to get these springs off, you take your tool and you hook it on the spring and you just pull it. And then as it, when it, when it gets past that little lip, you can just let it hang down and the springs can fall off. It's no big, it's not going to hurt anything. So you pull this one off, pull that one off, and then this top one's a little bit tough, but you can get in there. You need, you're going to need a tool like this. You can use vice grips on the bottom too. Using vice grips on that top one's going to be a bear. So it's best to hunt down this little tool right here. It will make the job a thousand percent easier for you. So you could take those three springs off on the catalytic converter that's hanging up in there and you're going to loosen that top bracket you can get to it with a wrench or whatever and then over here you're going to loosen this clamp and you can just push that over on the catalytic converter when you get it loose just slide it over there and if you want um, to make things a little bit easier this is a 15 millimeter bolt with a 15 millimeter nut on the back of it so you can just loosen that up you don't need to take it off but you just loosen it up and this will this will allow this to slide up and down a little bit to make it a little bit easier for you. So you've loosened the clamp, you've loosened that top clamp up there, and you've taken off the three springs. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the catalytic converter and just kind of work it back and forth going toward the back tire. Uh, it's going to go back about two and a half, three inches, and it'll just bang, bounce off the ground. It's done. It's, uh, it's loose. It weighs about 20, 25 pounds. Be careful. Don't get your fingers underneath it. Um, so you'll pull that out, and then you get the Le Monster pipe, and this is the Le Monster pipe right here. And it's just now we're just going to reverse what we just did before um, with minus one step. So you're going to put the pipe on here. I usually put it's easy to put this spring on and then put the bottom spring on, and then this will just kind of hang here. And then you're going to get your little tool. Where's it at? Right here. You're going to get your little tool and get up in there and you're going to pull that spring and you're going to pull it back and then use your other hand to kind of slide up here and push it down around that little uh, that little lip right, that little hook right there where the spring can catch on to. It'll take you a few tries, uh, but you'll get it. It's not, it's not that difficult. Then you're going to come over here. <clears throat> Once the pipe's hanging up there, and you're going to pull, push these together and then this clamp as you... Uh, tighten this right here. It'll pull these two these two pipes together and it'll make that seal right there. And then don't forget to go back and tighten up your 15 millimeter muffler mounting bracket bolt up there. Uh, 15 millimeter wrench front and back socket on the outside be good. And then so that's that took me about 12 minutes to do that. <clears throat> and then people wanted to know what it sounded like so let's do that real quick. Now, most of you know the microphones on a phone do not do justice to any exhaust system. It just doesn't pick up the right uh, uh, bass 
in the in the phone. They're not made for that, but I will. It gives it a nice uh, rumble. It's a lot smoother. Um, it sounds really good, in my opinion. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, you're still rolling. Let's go over and talk about the F3S. So again, start off with the catalytic converter. It's got two mounting brackets, one here, and then the same thing on the, uh, like just like the F3T. These are just, the catalytic converter just slides into those mounting brackets. And here's your hooks for your springs. And then on this end of the catalytic converter, you're gonna have that same clamp. All right, so same setup. It's the exact same pipe. I ordered two and they fit perfect so then uh so we're going to go through the same thing what we're going to do is on the catalytic converter you're going to original setup you're going to pull these three springs off using this tool we talked about and then over here you can see that bolt that we're going to loosen right there and loosen that up and you can just pull this exhaust this exhaust has these brackets right here. So this exhaust is just hanging here. So actually, you, once you loosen that um, clamp down here, once you loosen this clamp, you can actually pull this muffler, just pull it back with a gentle tug and it'll come right off. But you don't have to do that. You can just leave it hanging there. So now you're gonna loosen the spring, take the springs off, loosen that clamp, and then you're gonna jimmy the, wiggle the catalytic converter back and forth toward the back tire, about two and a half, three inches. Again, it weighs about 25 pounds. Watch your hands. Um, it's gonna come down, drag it out, grab the Le Monster pipe. Again, we're gonna repeat the process. I would install this spring here first, this one here second, and then the top one, same exact thing. You're gonna hook that spring, pull it back, and then slide your other hand up here to try to kind of massage it off that, off that little hook. It's a little tight, it's gonna take you two or three times to get it. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a tight fit, so uh, just take your time. Don't bust a knuckle. Uh, you'll get it on there. And then, now the pipe's hanging there. You're going to work this clamp. What I do is take this clamp off the catalytic converter and slide it on the pipe before I put the pipe up in there so it's ready to go. And then, with it all the way loosened, you can slide it back over this connection. And again, uh, when you get that on there and you start tightening it down, it's going to pull these two pipes together and just go ahead and cinch that all the way down. Should be good to go. And <clears throat> that's that's it for the F3S. Probably same thing for the F3. And let's see, you want to hear what that sounds like, I'm sure. So hit one of those, step on this, grab that, push this. Okay, so hopefully that's answered some of your questions. I just would like to add one other thing is we had the original uh, exhaust on there, which is back on the bike. Uh, we ran this um, 
Two Brothers pipe. It comes with a extension pipe and this uh, pipe right here. It's a really good pipe. Uh, it's quite a bit louder than the stock muffler. Um, it was just a little bit too loud for us. We ran it, it had a good time, but we wanted to go back to something a little bit smoother. So this is probably the best sounding setup that I've, I've heard and I've been to quite a few rallies and seen uh, quite a few bikes. We have a Colorado Springs k and Spider Club out here and uh, see a lot of modifications. I think the Le Monster pipe with the stock exhaust is the best sounding setup. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. Uh, you guys have a good night. Thank you very much.